God judges. Give me that in Second Ezra 16. No, matter of fact, give me Isaiah 58 and 1. No, not judgment. Only God can do the judgment, right? But he put the men in place, right, that know the truth of the Bible to come out here and tell our people they in sin. That's right. Right? When we say, when you say judgment, only God can do that, right? At the end of the day, God is the judge. We believe in the whole Bible. The Bible is full of laws. That's right. It ain't just Ten Commandments. You don't understand that, right? Okay. So should so should we So should we lean on to what the Bible says or according to what you feel? No, what the Bible says. Okay, so let's read what the Bible says. Okay, let's let's read what the Bible says. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? Okay, let's read what the Bible says. The book of Isaiah. Chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. What are we supposed to do? Cry aloud. Why do we got the speakers out here? Cry aloud. Come on. And spare not. You know what it means to spare not? Because all people want to break God's laws. They want to cook and uh, buy on the Sabbath, right? We can't spare y'all feelings. Because a lot of people don't come up here with emotions. We got to teach what God says. That's it. That's right. Okay? Because our people are a rebellious and stiff-necked people. Right. When they hear God's laws, they reject that thing. That's so right. God says, cry aloud and don't spare their feelings. That's right. Because your feelings, believe me what your feelings say, that's going to get you killed, sis. That's right. Okay, read on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. I'm about to lift up our voice like a trumpet. Listen, I'm sure. No, you right. You right. But we are here to give you warning, sis. Okay, but sis, what we are here to do is give you warning from God. We're not here to, we're not here to say God go. If you believe in God, you keep the commandments then. That's right. If you believe in God, you keep the commandments. Oh, yeah, you is. You're, you're a child of God, sis. So along with that, with knowing that, sis, it's requirements that God requires from you. That's right. Right. Do you understand that? When we love God and we have to work for our family. Give me, the, give me the requirements. No, finish this out first. I just want to show you what God says while we out here, sis. Okay? This the warning from God. They not being attacked. We love y'all. But y'all in sin. That's right. Y'all are in sin. That's why we out here to get, because y'all buying and cooking on the Sabbath. That's right. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day, sis. Today is the Sabbath day. That's right. Do you understand that? Today is the Lord's Sabbath day, sis. So let Okay. So if you study us, then you will know today is the Sabbath day, and you shall be buying, cooking, or selling on the Lord's Sabbath day. That's right. That's what you should understand. Okay, you got corn foods, salad. Food, sandwiches and chips. Okay, you gotta prepare for the Lord's Sabbath day, sis. That's right. We can't make excuses. God give us straight commandments. That's it. That's right. We gotta do what the Bible say, or we gonna all perish. Okay. Read this. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. What are we supposed to do out here? Show my people their transgression. In the house of Jacob, their sin. Show them what? Their sin. Show them what? Their sin. You see, God said we're supposed to show you their sins. They hear this too. They know we they know we out here. We out here every week. Yes, yes, we have. They already know God's laws. And guess what? They are marked. That's right. Everybody on the side of this microphone is marked. That's right. 
So when God, when God, when God come to judge them, they ain't got no excuses to say, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to be buying, selling, and cooking or working on the Lord's seventh day. That's right. Give me Ezekiel 3 and 17. Who did you just say against the judge when we eat or don't eat? Who did you just say against the judge that? At the God. end of the day. But guess what? We are all here to tell you what the Bible says, because y'all don't know, obviously. Obviously, you don't know, sis, or you wouldn't be out here breaking God's laws. Okay, that's why we out here to teach. That's why we out here to answer all questions according to the Bible. We have, sis. This is our first time out here. We've been out here for weeks. This is not the first time we've been out here. We've been out here for weeks. They, they know what the Bible say, too, because they're going to try to Benjamin. That's right. They're the so-called Jamaicans. They know they know they're supposed to be out here buying and selling either. Cooking on the Lord's Sabbath. Okay. Okay. Give me Exodus 20 and 8. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. The Lord give me. Okay, listen. Hey, listen, sis. Hold that. I want Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3. I'm not a Trust in the Lord. Give me that. I'm not. 3 and 5. I'm not. This is all good. Now, good. Okay, so take the take take what the word of God says and apply it. Right. That's all you gotta so do. Not, Read this. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Yeah. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart uh -huh. and lean not unto thine own understanding. What? Lean not unto thine own understanding. Lean not into your own understanding of what the Bible says, sis. Exodus 20 and 8. Okay? The Lord tells us how to keep the Sabbath day holy. So when you got people out here buying and selling and cooking and working on the Lord's Sabbath day, that's called the transgression of God's law. That's, right. that's called sin. That's right. Okay? That's what we got to understand. Read this. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Okay? Meaning separate from the rest of the days of the week. This day is the Lord's day, sis. That's right. Come on. Right. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. It says, how many days? Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. You see, he's giving you six days, sis, to prepare. Six days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's six days to prepare, right? To do all your business, conduct all your work. Right, all through those days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's your six days, right? Okay, let's read it. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. See, the seventh day, that's Saturday. That's the Sabbath day of the Lord, right? Sunday is not the Sabbath day. That's right. You've been taught wrong by that man right there. That's right. Caesar Bourget. Which one is Jesus? Which one is Jesus? Oh, you got the abomination on your neck too? Which one is Jesus, sis? Hey, which one is Jesus? All of them. Which one? Is this Jesus or is that Jesus? We 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 know how he looks. The Bible say. We know how he looks. The Bible say how he looks. Which one is Jesus? Is this Jesus or is that Jesus? Which one of how the Bible describes how he looks? Not a little. Which one? Point to it. Oh, you've been deceived. You know what I want. You know what I want. Let's read, let's read the description of Christ, sis, in the Bible. Hey, let's read the description of Christ in the Bible for you, sis. Let's see if it matches up with that one or that one over there. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out! His head and his hairs were white like wool. So they were white like wool, meaning white in color, woolly in texture. Okay, which one got the white woolly hair? Does this one or does that one? He's not really hair. That's I said white and woolly hair. White and woolly hair. Which one got white woolly hair? Okay, the same thing is gray, white. When I hear when we get older, 
our hair turns gray, white, right? That that that's not the that's not white and woolly. That's stringy hair, white woolly hair. Okay. So it says his hair. Listen, sis. His hair and his hairs were white like wool, right? Go ahead. That's strike one against that one. He don't got white and woolly hair. Go ahead. As white as snow. It says here is white as snow. Right? Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. That, this description don't got eyes like flame of fire. That one does. They are red. Look at it closely. They dark red. What happens when we drink wine? I see black. I don't his, see black. I his eyes, they would be white, sis, but they... They red, sis. You gotta look. They red. Why? Because he drunk wine in moderation. Okay? Read this. Now let's get to his his color. Come on. And his feet. His who? His feet. I'm too fine brass. His feet like what? I'm too fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. What what color is brass? You got a penny? It's like the color, it's, it's a derivative of brown. That's brass. So he, so it's brown. It's brown, right? He got brown skin. His feet is brown, right? Let's see how brown they were. As if they burned in a furnace. Like what? As if they burned in a furnace. So according to the Bible, Jesus is what, sis? Hey, sis, according to the Bible, Jesus is what now? Right, he's a black man. Yeah, that's right. So that depiction right there, that's who taught you that. That cross you got on your neck. You just, we just, hold on, hold on, hold on. We just read out the Bible of how Christ looks, sis. We just read out the Bible how Christ looks. That's right. Give me Daniel. You don't believe in the Bible, then. You do not believe in this Bible. We just read to you in the book of Revelations what Christ looked like, sis. Right, in the Bible. Our people destroyed, man. The, 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 the false image of Christ get our people deceived. Hey, let's, what's your name, sis? Hey, sis, what's your name? Huh? Ellie? Sis Ellie, here go another description of Jesus the Christ. Okay? <laughs> the book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 6. Bring it up. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning. So his body was like the barrel, right? He got on the barrel is another uh, word for green. So he got on the green garment here. We read that description right now. His body was like the barrel, and his eyes is like what? No. And his face as the appearance of lightning. All right. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Right, like there was like we read in uh, Revelations, right? Red. And his arms. His, his arms uh -huh. and his feet. And his feet like in color. Like in who? Color. Like in who? Color. To polish. Brad. That's Brad's butt in the furnace. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Give me the Becky 2 and 18 so we can cast down that uh, cross that's on your neck. <laughs> he ain't white, but you not white because he's a black man. Right. You only got two cars on earth, sis. If he ain't white, then he got to be black. Let's use some logic here, sis. Sis, let's use some logic here. If Jesus Christ, listen. If Jesus Christ not a white man, then he gotta be black. Oh, so there's only white? There's only I'm saying, I'm saying he brought, we not, we not saying, listen sis, listen, listen. You, who? Which one you from? You Zebulon? Okay, so you from the tribe of Zebulon. Okay, when we saying it brown, we are, we got different shades of brown. We different shades of brown. Right. We we different shades of brown. That's what we saying. So it because the Bible just says so sis. That's right. He in color. In color. 
They're people on earth got color. We do. Right. Black is not a nationality, sis. Black is a color. Brown is our color. We different shades of brown. White. We say so-called black. Because that's what our people know us as today. Okay? Let's read this. Becky 318. The book of a Becky, chapter 3 and verse 18. Bring it out. Yeah, I will rejoice in the Lord. The book of a Becky, chapter 2 and verse 18. I want to talk about that cross on your neck. Read this. What profit if the graven image? What profit if the graven image, right? That the maker thereof has graven it. What, what profit is that for you, sis? That profit. What 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 does that cross profit you? So, so Jesus Christ died on the cross, correct? Right? So who killed Jesus Christ? What people killed Jesus? Huh? Who put him on the cross? The Romans did, right? So-called white man today. Now, let's say, let's say, no, I'm saying that's who killed them. That's who, who killed them on the cross. Let's say if somebody died in your family, let's say you knew somebody that died. They got shot down with a 12 gauge. Would you wear a 12 gauge on your neck to symbolize their death? No, you wouldn't. So why do you wear a cross on your neck to symbolize the death of our Lord and Savior? That don't make no sense. That's a graven, that's an idol. It is an idol, sis. Are these idols No. No, those, they are, right, of what Christ looked like. No, Christ, you know who on that cross? Take, look at it a little more carefully. That image is on your cross. The devil the Bible speaks of. The, the black Messiah ain't on that cross. You better believe it. When they made when they made that cross, they got the image of the white man on it. That's that's, right. that's what you worshiping. I have a bowl on. It has no image of color. All of them got the same image of this the so-called white man. That's right. The devil the Bible speaks of. So that cross is an idol, sis. Listen good. Listen good. You're telling me that it's an idol. Well, profit if the graven image. That, you gotta listen to what God says about the idol, not what you think, but God thinks. Well, profit if the graven image that the maker thereof has graven it, the molten image. What is it? The molten image. That's a molten image. Somebody had to mold that together, right? What is who wearing? These armbands. This is the part of our heritage. That's right. War time. That's right. War time, sis. That's right. Wait. That a, a teacher of lies. What is that cross on their neck? A teacher of lies. What is that false image on their neck? A teacher of lies. You see, you've been deceived, sis. The white man has deceived you. Look at her sister, man. Our sisters is crazy, like man. Like Our sisters is crazy. You love that Jesus. Like you love that Jesus. No, you love that false image of Christ. Okay, what you got? Give me that. The book of First John, chapter five and verse three. For this is the love of God. This is how you love God, sis. That we keep His commandments. Uh huh. And His commandments are not grievous. So if you love God, you will keep the commandments. One of His laws that we just read is that is an idol on your neck. Give me That's Isaiah thirty twenty two. Isaiah 30, 22. This is, a, this is what you got to do to that false idol on your neck, sis. You in idolatry. The first commandment is, thou shalt have no other gods before me. You got a false image of a curse on your neck, sis. You got the devil the Bible speaks of on your neck. The same people that put your, your, uh, your people in slave ships and yokes of iron on their neck, you now worshiping them. You worshiping them. Read this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 22. Ye shall defile also the, the covering of thy 
thy graven images of silver and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Of what? Of gold. Of gold. Come on. Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. What's supposed to do to that golden, that image, that idol? Cast them away like a mistress cloth. What do you do with a mistress cloth? You throw it in the damn garbage. That's right. So you're supposed to cast that away like a like a mistress cloth. Come on. Thou shalt say unto it, get thee hit. Right, you got to get that away from you, sis. Deuteronomy 7.25, you got to get that away from you. You got to repent for that, sis. You got to repent from that. You ain't supposed to get tattoos. Because it's a sin. That's a sin. Give me the tattoos first. Give me the da tattoos. Okay. Leviticus 19. We repented of that though. We used to give tattoos. We used to. Did you repent for that? Because it's a sin. Read this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Right, read it again. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. So you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Go ahead. For the dead, nor print any marks upon thy body. I am the Lord. You see that? You're not supposed to be getting tattoos, sis. Now you're lighting up cigarettes. Our people is destroyed, man, for a lack of knowledge. You're not supposed to be smoking cigarettes either. Do you, do you, know, do you know that's a sin too? Smoking cigarettes is a sin. And me out here, you talking to the devil. You talking to the devil. You do, because you worship him. You got the image on your neck. You smoking cigarettes. That's the God you believe in, the so-called white man. That's your God. How you repent if you keep sinning? Right, so that means you got to stop. Stop sinning, sis. Stop sinning, sis. Because you don't love God when you keep sinning. You got to fear God and keep the commandments. Fear God and keep the commandments. First Corinthians. Hey, sis. You are in sin and you need to keep the commandments. Right. Smoking those cigarettes is a sin, sis. I hope you understand that. First Corinthians 3. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and, the, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. Right, you the temple of God, sis, and the Spirit of God dwells in you. You're not a temple. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Him shall what? Him shall God destroy. You see, when you smoke cigarettes, that's defiling your temple. So now when you defile your temple, God says what? Him shall God destroy. See, God going to kill you if you keep smoking cigarettes, sis. That means you got to stop and repent. Okay, so what's your point, sis? We all, we all, we always, we go out, we do pretty places, sis. We do flower missions all around the city. Right, where our people is at. This, this where, this where God told us to come. Well, we got all these stores open on the Lord's Sabbath day. So we got to come cast down these, all these lies that our people been taught. Right in the slums and the ghettos. Okay? Give me Luke 14, 23. We go, we do, we do this a lot of places, sis. But right now, today, on the Lord's Sabbath day, this is where we're going to bring out the word of God. That's right. Okay. That's right. Read this. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. 
said go up to the highways and hedges. You know what that means? That means the slums and the ghettos where all people live at. That's right. He said go to the highways and the hedges. Come on. And compel them to come in. He says do what? Compel them to come in. We got to compel our people to come back into their true nationality. Okay? We, we, we not only here, sis. You know how many people come to these trucks on Saturday, breaking God's laws? We, we right here, because y'all in sin. That's right. That's why we here. Y'all in sin, and until y'all stop bringing these trucks around here, we going to blast y'all with the word of God. That's right. Come on. <laughs> that my house may be filled. That his house what? May be filled. Give me first John uh, 2. Give me first John 2. Y'all in sin, sis, y'all got to repent keep God's law. Y'all the Israelites according to the Bible. This y'all true nationality. This y'all history book. Okay? You've been lied to, sis, by the oppressor. That's right. Both. All day in New Testament. All day in New Testament. That's right. This is your heritage, sis. We don't read the Quran. That's garbage. That's right. Zion is is where the Israelites dwell. That's another name for Israel. That's right. It's not, it's, say that again. For our nation. That's right. That's for our people. That's not for our nations. Imposters are in our land right now. That's right. Imposters are in our land right now. Give me that, uh, a pastor should dwell in Ashdod. And, uh, what's that, Zachariah? Because see, they, they took our heritage while we was in slavery. So along with our heritage comes the landmass of Israel, Jerusalem. Right? So right now, huh? the fake Jews, the Jewish man, that's who in our land right now. The fake Jews. We the real Jews. That's right. We're supposed to be in that land. But guess what? When Christ, because we in sin. When Christ returns, then he's going to put us. When Christ returns, he's going to put us back in that land. Right? But right now, we in captivity. Because we got to get our minds right first. Okay? Until we go back, before we go back to Jerusalem, we got to get our minds right, repent, and keep these commandments. I'm going to show you what, who the people that are living in our land right now. The book of Zechariah, chapter 9 and verse 6. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. It says who? A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. So Ashdod is modern day Tel Aviv today. A bastard, meaning the so-called white man today. That's right. That's what, that's what God calls him. A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. Okay? So the people that saw it on today, they are imposters. Right? But the Lord going to put us back into our landmass once we're putting as a nation. Give me give me Revelation 2 and 9 so she can understand. Then we're going to wrap it up. What time we got? Well, almost 4. 3, 3, 3, 3. Revelation 2 and 9. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. So who in poverty? Who live in the slums and the ghettos? Who, who are living check to check? Right? Who's struggling to keep a job right now? Our people. We're in the slums and the ghetto. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are in poverty. We always have been in poverty. But God says, hold on. God says we rich. Because the kingdom of heaven is only for us. That's right. All the promises in this Bible belong to the Israelites. So God says that we rich, right? Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. He said the blasphemy, the lies of them which say they are Jews and are not. But watch what he called them. But are the synagogue of Satan. What are the people in Israel right now? The synagogue of Satan. He said they are the chief house of the devil. That's right. That means they're the devil the Bible speaks of. That called the people that call themselves Israelis. They the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. Bring it up. 
They come from this land. They come from this 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 uh, lineage of people right here. The so-called white man that come from the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. That's right. Right? They the real cavemen on the earth. Okay? So, sis, you're an Israelite, you gotta keep the commandments, you gotta repent. Learn your true nationality, you from the tribe of Zebulon, right? That's who you are, that's who you be according to the Holy Bible. Sis. That's right. Right. And, and until our people, until our people get their minds right with God's commandments, we gonna come out here and preach the God, God of word with boldness. That's right. That's right. Much authority out here. You That's understand? Right. Let's close out. Give me Matthew 26. Book of Matthew, chapter 26 and verse 6. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment. So this woman came to had, came to Christ. She had a box full of precious ointments, right? Go ahead. And poured it on his head as he sat at meat. And she anointed Christ's head, right? Go ahead. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. So they said, Why is y'all anointing Christ with this oil? Right? They like, well, we can sell this oil and give the money to the poor, right? But let's read. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. Right? He said, Why is you troubling the woman? She's doing the good work for me. This is what Christ is telling the disciples. Go ahead. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Right, so she was preparing Christ for his burial. Right, because no, he had to die on the cross. Go ahead. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman has done be told for a memorial of her. So Christ said, wherever this gospel is preached, a memorial has got to be told what this sister did for Christ, right? Because the rebuilding of our nation, the 12 tribes of Israel, is not just about the men you see out here. Okay, we got wives, we got children. The women are to learn this Bible too, so y'all can raise up the daughters, the sons, and make sure that they being groomed up in God's laws. Okay, so that memorial got to be told wherever this gospel is being preached on the four corners of the earth. Okay, because y'all got a good, uh, y'all got a lot of work to do, sis. And, and from what I've seen today, this is the mindset of a lot of our women. They all over the place. They don't know their nationality. They think Christ is a white man. They walk around with idolatry on their neck. Uh, uh, that's a lot of our people coming out to Christian church. So, you got to repent, sis. Keep the commandments. You got a lot of work to do, sis. It's time to convert the mind and be changed. I remember all the commandments. Why is it